Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode, we finished up the Big Goron side quest and we got a very nice two-handed sword as a reward. And in this episode, we're probably uh, going to progress a little bit into the story. So we're probably going to the Fire Temple. But before we do that, there's actually a couple of Skulltulas that we can get. And there's also another thing that I forgot, because we can actually already do a minigame in Kakariko Village. And you can get a bow, uh, a quiver upgrade from that. So I have to do that too. But we will probably do that um, in a bit. Not at the moment, because I... Uh, Navi, I know. Uh, because I first want to obtain a couple of Skulltulas. And we need to... And we need it to be Dark Link! Come on, Dark Link. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, we need it to be Dark Link. Okay, make it dark and the Skulltula is, I think, about here. Hmm. Should be around here. Well, I think it's actually behind this rock. Yeah. It's behind that rock and we're not really able to to break that rock at the moment. We will be when we get the dungeon item, item of the fire temple, so don't worry about that. But, it doesn't matter, we can always go into um, Dodongo's Cavern, because there are actually two Skulltulas that we couldn't get uh, when we were a child. But now that we have Pierre's song, we are able to get them. So let's get them. And the first one, I think, is in the room uh, where you first meet the baby Dodongos, uh, or the Dodongo la larva. Not sure what, what they're called, I think they're called baby Dodongos or something. But yeah, th <coughs> that's the first place where we need to go. And I'm not waiting for that stupid platform, so we might as well go here. Okay, and I'm kind of curious because in this game you also get a upgrade for your hookshot. And I'm kind of wondering if I'm able to reach Pierre in this level. So we'll see. I hope I'm able to because else I'll have to revisit this uh, dungeon later on. I'm, not, I'm not, re not really a fan of that, but yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Let's see what they're called. Baby Dodongo, okay, so they're not Dodongo larva. Well, that would be kind of obvious, I think, because they're not insects. But anyway, um, there's a little spot, and that's, that's, that is where you can spawn Pierre. So let's use the song again. And now, please, Pierre, please show up, please. What the? Okay, this is, this is just plain weird. Why doesn't Pierre show up? Uh, try again. It's so weird. It happened too in the forest temple. Why doesn't Pierre show up? Thank you, Pierre. Oh my god, you're late to the party. Well, let's see if we can reach you. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so there's another Skulltula. Da oh, wait a second. Da -da -da -da. Okay, and the other Skulltula is actually on the other side of the main entrance. I think it's in the room where you... Um, make a stair, or make a stair, what the fuck am I talking about? Where you make stairs by blowing up bomb flowers. Um, yeah, so we need to go that way. And I think it's on the other side of the room, so let's see. And no, don't attack me, you stupid bemos. Ugh, I hate them. Okay, I think I have to go in here. And he's actually all the way on the top of the stairs because there's actually a hidden room that you can see there that you wouldn't otherwise be able to access unless you have Pierre of course so what should we do let's you um, activate this little puzzle again oh, I love this BAM okay well drop those stairs okay they're coming down finally slowly very slowly Okay, nice. Well, hurry up, hurry up. I want that Skulltula, please! And I hope Pierre doesn't screw me over this time, because I was really afraid for just a second. <laughs> Why don't you show up, Pierre, you bitch? You left me behind in the forest temple, and now in the Dodongo's cavern, and what the hell? Hmm. You know, I'm actually kind of wondering, because I think I screwed up. Uh, yeah, because you have to go the other way around because there's a room up there and you need to come out of that room, not this room. You don't need to activate this puzzle. 
<sighs> well, okay, I'll see you guys um, here, I guess, but then when this block is all the way up. So I'll see you guys there. Be right back. Oh my god, well, welcome back, I guess. That took a bit. And I actually took quite a beating, so let's see if we can finally reach it. Now... What? No, are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? Dude. No. Come on, please. Oh my god, how were you supposed to Oh, wait a second. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Well, anyway, there is the sculpture. So let's get it. Uh, come on. <sighs> da, 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 da. Finally. Okay, now that we got that over with, um, I'll see you guys in Kakariko Village because I actually want to do that mini game for the bow and arrow upgrade. So I'll see you guys there, I guess. Well, welcome back, everyone. There is the um, archery shop thingy. Well, not not a really a shop, but um. I don't know what this is called, but let, just let's enter it. Let's just enter it. I think it's a... Uh, oh, yeah, it's shooting gallery. Well, I'm sorry. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's the same as, as if you were a child, but this time you have a bow and arrow. You want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Of course, dude. Okay, this is a game for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets. I know. Just let me shoot. Okay. Starts out so easy. Oh my god. No, don't screw up. I don't really like the controls on this uh, N64 control stick, so... Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Oh my god. That one... Th thank you. Okay. This one is the trickiest part. Okay, nice. Now the others. And I got it first try. Awesome. Wonderful! Bravo! Perfect! Here's a fantastic present. And we got a big quiver. Now we can carry 40 arrows. And that's amazing. Okay, so now that we got that over with. I'll see you guys in Goron City. Because we're on our way to the Fire Temple. So, I'll see you guys there. Welcome back everyone. Welcome in Goron City. So, where is everyone? Man, that's quite weird. But before we actually do... Oh my god. Oh my god. Before we actually do anything, there's a Skulltula that we can get right there. So if we are very careful, we should be able to... You know, fuck it. Let's try to get it from here. Oh, please. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got the Skulltula in Goron City. And I think that's the only one that you can get as an adult in Goron City. So I think we got every gold sculpture in Goron City. That's cool. But there's actually something we need to do. Because the only Goron that's around here is rolling around this place. And that looks kind of familiar. Because when we were young there was an exact same Goron that was rolling all around. But I don't think it's the same Goron however. Because this one is really small. Compared to uh, that other one. Okay. Well we just have to wait till he... Let's see. Where is he? I think... Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try to blow him up. Uh, I think we screwed up. Yeah. What the hell? What? Where did I throw that bomb to? Huh? What? Did I just throw it on top of that rope? How in hell is that possible? Okay, well that was kind of embarrassing. Let's try that again, but now from the other side. Because he turned... Oh, damn. Back, you bitch. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to take a while. That little bitch. That little scarity Goron. Well, let's wait for him again, I guess. <sighs> okay, there he comes. No, you stay here, you stay here. Thank you. Okay, finally. How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant! 
Hear my name and tremble! I am Curly, hero of the Gorons! Wait, I'm Curly? What the hell is this all about? Hey, dude, wake up. Wake up. I'm Curly, you, you know? Who are you? What? Your name is also Curly? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero, Curly! My dad is Darunia. Oh, yeah, I know that guy. Do you remember him? Mm -hmm. Dad named me Curly after you because you're so brave. Well, that's cool. It's a cool name. I really like it. Curly, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Curly of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, the Runya, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> You'd better try to calm him down, if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. Well, that, is, that isn't really Navi's voice. What do you want to ask him? Um... Uh, about the dragon, I guess? A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Vol... Volvagia? Vol... Volvagia? Yeah, I think it's Volvagia. Living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons. Boom! Destroyed it, just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know, because my dad is a descendant of the hero. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's ask about the Gorons, because what is happening to them right now? Uh, just hurry up, Navi. Um, Gorons, yeah. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Curly. I'll give you this heat resistant tunic. Da 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 da! And we got a Goron tunic. This heat resistant tunic is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Going to hot up. Going to a hot place? No worry. Nice. And we got the Goron tunic. So now we got all the tunics in the game. We're resistant to pretty much everything. Except maybe poison or something. But yeah, it doesn't matter. So, Dad told me not to let anybody follow him to the temple. But only you, Curly, can save everyone. I'm sure that the shop owner, who is hiding somewhere right now, will also help you. Now, I'll tell you about the secret passage to the fire temple. Try to move the statue inside Dad's room. Yeah, I already know, so don't worry. Okay, so let's go into Darunya's room, because the secret passage should be there. And if you need any bombs or something, or you um, lost your heat-resistant Goron tunic, you can buy it for 200 rupees in this shop. So don't worry about that. Yeah. So, unless you don't have the adult's wallets... Um, and that's kind of shitty if you don't have it, because it only costs about 10 golden sculpture, so it's really easy to get if you don't have it. Well, sucks to be you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go into Death Mountain Crater. Yes, we're back here. Curly, it's so hot in here, we can't stay here for long. That's why we have our Goron Tunic, yeah. Man, I really like how Link is so customizable in this game. You can choose whatever, what boots he's wearing, what tunic he's wearing, what shield, what sword. That's so awesome. <laughs> well, anyway, let's cross this gap by using our hooks. Oh, don't fall into the lava. Because this is the kind of lava that if you jump into it... Oh, wait. I've already explained that before and I've already showed that before. So why am I telling that again? I don't know. But anyway... <gasps> It's chic. Hmm. So what has he to say this time? It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. 
The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. And I really, really like this song because they... I think somewhere on YouTube there's a very cool remix of this song. Or a extended version of this song. I really like it. Okay, let's learn the bolero of fire. Da, 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 da. And if we use this song, Young Link will be able to go inside Death Mountain Crater. And not not just the beginning where we got the heart piece, but um, near the t fire temple because there's actually a heart piece in here that we only that we can only get if we have a magic bean plant planted. So yeah, after this I'm going back in time so I can plant that plant. <laughs> plant a plant. <laughs> oh my god, you have learned to ball a row of fire. So, Curly, I'll see you again. Okay, Sheik. Uh, what? Dudes, why? Oh my god, that's such a dick move. Anyway, I'll see ya, Sheik. See you soon. <sighs> so, we're finally near the fire temple. Also one of my favorite temples. I just have to say, even though the forest temple is my favorite temple, or one of the favorite temples of mine in this game, all the temples in this game are just really awesome. I, 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 I just don't know how to explain it. I just like them all. Maybe except the first three. Those weren't all that great in my opinion because they were kind of easy. But they were... The, the, the first and the third one were kind of original. So I'd give them that. Okay, so let's go back to, um, to the Temple of Time because I actually want to go back in time. Dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Okay, and we're back in the Temple of Time. Let's put the sword back into the pedestal. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hurry up, Link. The Fire Temple. Well, I have to say, the Fire Temple isn't really all that hard. The problem is, however, the fire temple is designed um, that you, um, it's, well, you have to go up in the dungeon a bit, I think. You have to go up. And the problem is, if you fall down, you go all the way to the beginning of the dungeon. So you need to climb all the way back up. And that can be really tedious, because the dungeon item, oh, wait a second, Polaroid Fire? Uh, the dungeon item in that dungeon can be kind of tricky to get because if you're not careful you'll fall all the way down and you have to go all the way up and I really hope that I don't fuck that up because my control stick isn't all that great and you really need to pr be precise when you're doing that so I hope I can do it okay so that spot is actually right here and we don't have much time so let's plan it while we still can uh, yeah let's use a bug first because you can all you can also get a golden sculpt line here. So let's do that. Okay, nice. Grab him, Link. Da 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 da! I got a bug again by glitching or cheating or uh, I, no, it's a glitch. It's not a cheat. Come on, man. Oh, well, it is kind of cheating, but ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, and we got another sculptula, sculptula. Ah, <sighs> okay, so. Let's grow that magic bean. Okay, now let's go back. Anyway, I'll see you guys back. I'll see you guys here with Adult Link. Okay, because um, I don't want to show you guys this again. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, welcome back everyone, and the plant should be fully grown right now, so let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get that heart piece. And it's actually right here, so you just need to jump off right here, and it's on top of this little volcano thingy. Da -da -da. Wait, wait a second. What am I saying? A volcano in a volcano? Um, um, above that mountain. <laughs> and we got 15 hearts already. Well, that's amazing. So let's jump off. Oh, 
Whoa, dude. You can actually go that way as well. And there will be a place where you can summon Pierre. But you can all only get a couple of rupees right there. And I don't think you really need that in this point of the game. So, yeah. And the fire temple is actually uh, under here. So, whoa! Bam! Ah, that's gotta hurt. I think he broke a couple of bones. <laughs> or uh, a lot of but this is the fire temple so let's go in anyway guys I'm running low on time so in the next episode we will explore the fire temple and let's see what and and see what dangers awaits us so I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one so goodbye